Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is like 7.22 a.m. I woke up so early today, so proud of myself. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my blush declutter video. So I've already done my bronzers and eyeshadow palettes and my foundations a few months back, but I'm probably gonna redo that in the next month or so. I will have those videos above in the cards as well as in the description box if you guys wanna check those out. Pretty much the whole gist of the whole thing is that no games are being played and I'm doing it like hardcore, like no feeling bad for anything, you know? So. Like I always mention in my declutter videos, there are going to be three categories. One category is going to be products that I'm going to keep, of course. The next category is going to be um, products that I'm going to be putting in my kit to use on clients. And the third category is going to be um, products that I'm potentially going to sell to you guys on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle right over here so you guys can see what I'm selling. I still have some eyeshadow palettes left, some bronzers, and probably like a whole bunch of blushes as well. I will, of course, let you guys know how much I'm starting starting off with and how much I'm putting in each category. I hope to, I guess, get rid of possibly half. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be pretty hard for me. I'm obsessed with blush, but I don't feel like I need like, you know, 80, cause I'm never gonna use it in my life, especially considering you need so, so little. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, so I mainly keep my blushes in this drawer so you guys can see it's pretty much overflowing. There's no rhyme or reason to anything here. And then I have some blushes in a drawer down there which didn't fit in here, so I just stuffed it in there, which we'll get to after this. But the first blush palette that I have here is from Pure, and this is the 4-in-1 blush palette. This is so beautiful. The blushes in here are super pigmented and they apply beautifully on the face. I recently um, had this featured in my June favorites and I'm still obsessed. So... This is one that I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep. Okay, moving on to the next blush. This is the MAC Toledo blush in the shade Ripe Peach. I really, I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. It's like, okay, that's how the blush looks like on the inside. I think I use this once or twice and honestly, I don't touch it. I don't care to even keep this as a collector's piece because I don't really like the packaging so much. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that, yay. Wow, I feel, I feel so proud of myself already, okay. Moving on to the next um, product. This is the NARS Kevin Klein blush palette that came out, I believe, two, three years back. Um, we get three, no, we get four blushes in here. I thought there was a Laguna bronzer. No. So there are four blushes in here and a brush. I think that I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. As much as I do enjoy the blushes, they last a long time on. Um, I just don't find myself using it as, as much. And these are not like shades we've never seen, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Okay, moving on to the next product. This is the Disney Minnie Mouse and Sephora Collection Blush. That's how this blush looks. It's a really nice, um, kind of like luminous peachy type of color you guys can see there. I do really like the packaging of this, but I don't find myself using it too often, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Next blush that we have is the NARS and Christopher Kane blush. I recently used this and it actually works beautifully on. It's this bright ass pink color, but I don't know, like, I don't really mind not having this, you know? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Next blush that we have here is the Too Faced Papa Dome Peach Blush. I love this. This is such a beautiful one. Um, I like to typically use this in the summertime, sometimes like around the fall time as well. It has like a pinkiness to it, but it also has a nice sheen to it as well. I do enjoy this and I love how it smells, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Next few blushes that I have here are these. These are the Urban Decay After Glow blushes. I have three different shades right over here. So, first one that I have is called Bang. And this is like a really bright reddish color. These are super nice and very soft. You guys can see pigmented like crazy. I, I don't find myself using this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, this is the fetish one. This one I think I'm gonna keep. It's a beautiful like mauve color. I do like these kind of blushes, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, then we have this one, which is called Indescent. And this is just a really light kind of like orangey popsicle type of color. It's so soft. But that's how that one looks right over there. Um, it's so pretty, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. Next blush that I have here is this one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. I really did used to enjoy this a lot. This is in the shade 40. I think I have another one. But I think I am going to get rid of that. I just don't find myself using it so much anymore, so goodbye. Okay, let's do some palettes now. I have the Tarte um, Blink It On Blush Palette from, I think, two, three years back. 
I am going to go ahead and get rid of this, even though this is a beautiful formula. Um, I just have a lot of these kind of Tarte blush palettes, so I'm not gonna go ahead and use this. I already know myself. I didn't use it in quite some time anyway. The packaging is really nice, but I used to be more into these than I am currently at the moment in my life, you know? So I'm ready to part ways with that. Uh, next blush palette that I have here is this one. This is one that I am going to keep because it does have a um, sentimental value to me. I really do like this. There's a bronzer in here, which I used to use a ton when I didn't have any bronzers, and then four blushes. These still perform really nicely, and I do enjoy using this from time to time. Plus, it means so much more to me. You know what I'm saying? This came out in 2014. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Okay, next, what do I have? This is the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. I think I'm gonna keep this because this was limited edition and I really do like this. It's a nice mauve type of color. It's not crazily pigmented, but it picks up really nicely on the brush and it looks so beautiful like going into the fall time. Next two blushes I have here are these MAC The Simpsons blushes. So I have this one which is called Sai Cho Yu. And this is a peachy type of color. Then I have this one, which is called Pink Sprinkles. And that's how that one looks. I love The Simpsons, you guys already know. But I don't find that I need both of them. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, which is a bit deeper in this shade Shy So Shy Sideshow You. And then this one in Pink Sprinkles, I'm going to keep because I find that I use these kind of shades a bit more than this. This is a little bit too deep for me. It would be great if you have deeper skin tones. But I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Okay, next one that I have here is this one. This is the... The Bell Carousel Blush and Bronzer. Um, this is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this is just a really nice bronzer, which is called Who's Your Poppy? Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of this. I think this is great to travel with, but I just didn't use it in like ages, so I think I'm going to say goodbye. I also have this Stila Blush, which I think is so freaking cute. Um, I love that there's a heart in here. You, can kind of, you could kind of mix those two together, and then you get this like purpley-ish type of color. <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I just haven't used it in quite some time and it's just sitting here doing nothing. Next blush palette that I have here is from Urban Decay and this is from the Jean-Michel Best Kate palette. A uh, palette, a collection I mean. So in here we are getting uh, two blushes, a highlighter, and this is could be a blush depending on your skin tone or a bronzer. I do find that these do run pretty dark so it doesn't suit my skin 100%. Um, and I use this and this blush maybe like two, three times, but I just don't find myself using it so, so much. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this even though I do love this collection. I think I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, next one that I have here is the ABH Blush Kit. I love this so freaking much. You get four different blushes in here. They had this one and they had one with uh, four different deeper shades, but I think this suits my skin beautifully. You have two uh, peachier shades and then two pinkier ones, and they sit so well on the face. I adore that, so I'm going to keep that. I want to just tackle these guys right over here, which I know I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Whoa. Okay, so first is this one. This is the Big Blush Book um, palette by Tarte that they came out initially, like the first time they did these Big Blush books. This was the first one they came out with. Um, I purchased it. I reviewed it. I used it for quite some time, but didn't in quite some time as well, if that makes sense. Um, and I think I'm ready to get rid of it. I think it's pretty big for my collection. And since I don't tend to use it a lot, it's just sitting here and doing nothing. Hopefully somebody else will enjoy. So okay, the good thing about these blushes is if you don't like the... Um, packaging you can always pop these blushes out and put it like in a palette or something which I think is pretty neat So I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Okay, and then I have this one which came out this past year This is the big blush book three um, And this is one that I'm probably going to get rid of as well I do really like it again when I came out I used it a nice amount of time But I just don't find myself using it so much because it is It is bigger than what I'm used to, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this Next product that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of is this Kevin Aquan. This is the Neo Bronzer in Capri Cool Pink. So basically in here we are getting like a highlighter, a little bit of a blush, and a bronzer. I do really like this product. I think it performs beautifully on the skin, but I do also find that it's a bit hard to, you know, be specific with which shade you want because they're all kind of like in this gradient uh, pan. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I just don't find myself using it so much. And even though I do want it because it's Kevin Aquan, um, I think somebody else will enjoy so declutter okay next thing that i have here is this becca and chrissy Teigen palette this is one i'm for sure gonna go ahead and keep um you get two highlighters a bronzer and then a blush this is super nice especially for the summertime i have to pull this out once again because i haven't used it in quite some time but i do really like this the quality is beyond amazing and this blush right here is to die for like 
I mean that highlighter, look at this. Yum, you can also kind of use it as a blush topper depending on your skin tone, but I also decorated it myself, you know, with these stickers, so I need to keep it in my life. Before I finish off with these guys, I'm just gonna pull out the blushes that I have in the other drawer and just put it in here so we have everything in one. One second. Okay, this is everything that was in the other drawer combined with everything that was in this drawer. So, the next blush palette that I have here is from Tarte and this came out this past year. I really, really do like it. I love the packaging because it kind of gives me that, that like um, Jasmine vibes from like Aladdin. And I really do like the shade, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Next blush palette that I have here is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani blush palette. I don't even think that I use this. I think maybe I just swatched it and that's it. Um, even though I do want to keep it because of the collector in me, I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it anymore, you know? So, declutter. Next blush palette that I have here is from Coastal Scents. This is one that they uh, sent out to me. I actually didn't have a major chance to use this. So, for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. But if I find that I don't enjoy the blushes and I don't enjoy how they perform or how they last... I am going to get rid of it, but for now I'm going to keep it and see how they perform. Okay, then I have these two blush palettes by Benefit. So one came out two years back and one came out this past year. I'm just trying to remember which one came out this past year. Yeah, so this one came out this past year. Um, I really, really love this. This is such a stunning shade, Gold Rush. You have Hula Bronzer in here, the California Blush, which is one of my favorites. And then Rockator and Dandelion. Love this so much. It's so perfect for pretty much any time of the year, but especially in the warmer months. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I love it. As for this one, this is the Chicathon Blush Palette. In here we are getting uh, Dandelion Dallas, Coralista, Hula, and Rockator, and then a brush as well. And what's cool about this palette is which I found was neat, is that you can pull this out and kind of use this as like a jewelry box or something of some sort. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Um, I just prefer the third version as opposed to this one. So the clutter selling pile. Next blush palette that I have here is the Beauty and the Beast blush palette. This is one that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of as well. Again, with this, I really do like these shades in here and they do perform beautifully on the skin, but these are not like the typical blush shades that I, you know, kind of typically go for. And then this highlighter is a bit deep for me, so it's one that I have to play around with. So as much as I would want to keep it, I also find that I just don't use it, you know? I think if you have a deeper or medium complexion, this would look bomb on you and you don't have to work hard to make it work. It would just work. Okay, next we have this. This is the Tartist Blush Palette by Tarte. Um, whoa, this is one that I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I did get a nice amount of use out of this, um, but I am going to keep the one that came out this past year, so I don't feel like I need this one, just because they kind of have similar shades. Let me just show you guys. Okay, so the top one is the one I'm going to keep, which came out this past year, and this one came out, I believe, almost two years back uh, randomly. So I'm going to keep this one, but get rid of this one. Okay, so then I have these two blush palettes from Becca. First, I have this one, which I really, really love. It's great for traveling. You get three blushes in here. They work beautifully. You get two, I believe, mattes and one kind of like luminous finish. I love this. I'm going to keep that plus the packaging. It's so cute. And then we have this one, which is called um, Sun Chaser Palette. And this one basically has a bronzer, blush, and highlighter, which I'm going to keep as well because I really find myself using this a lot, you know, when I travel or when I want like a one-stop shop type of palette. This is really, really great. Next palette that I have here is the NARS Guy Bourdain. I think that's how you pronounce it, palette. This is how this guy looks. This was, I think, my first NARS blush palette purchase. I think I'm going to keep this because of these sentimental reasons. Uh, I don't find myself using it too, too much. I don't think that the quality is as good as it was, but it's one that I do want to keep because it really does hold a special place in my heart. So, keep. Okay. We gotta get down to business here. Okay, next blush that I have here is the Dior Nude Tan Blush. This is how this blush looks. And as much as this is beyond absolutely gorgeous to die for, you know, like, goodness gracious, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Hopefully somebody else will enjoy it, but um, I just don't find myself using it. I mean, I purchased it for like, I think 60 bucks, which breaks my heart. But um, I will put it in the declutter selling pile, so hopefully somebody else will enjoy it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. It's time. I'm ready. Okay, next blush that we have here is from Revlon. This is the Wine Not Blush. Um, this is okay. I purchased it like about three years back. I used it pretty consistently then, but I find that it does have like hard pan and it's really hard to get on the brush and it doesn't necessarily last a long time on the skin. So I'll probably give this to a friend or something. Maybe somebody else will find good use out of that. Next blush that I have here is from Physici Physicians Formula. 
and I really do like this. I think it's so pretty. Like, look at this. It's freaking cute. I just hate that the packaging is so freaking bulky, but let me see. Uh, now that I'm swatching it, it has like this frosty-ish feel, so I don't know if I'm into it. I can definitely focus my brush on this section, but still. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, next blush that I have here is the Milani blush in Luminoso. This is one that you guys probably already know I'm keeping, like for sure. Super stunning. I had this in my favorites video like two months back, and it's so nice, especially for like the summertime. You can build it up or wear it a bit more sheerly, but I feel like it would be great for any skin tone. Keeping. Yes. Okay, next blush that I have here is from Kiko Milano, and this is one of their baked blushes. And as much as I do really like this, I think it performs pretty nicely on the skin. It does have a very luminous finish, and um, I find that it's maybe a bit light, and it's not one that I typically go for in shade. So, I do like the packaging, I love everything about it, but I just don't like how it looks on my skin 100% of the time. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, next two blushes I have here... Okay, these two blushes are from Wet n Wild. I think I use these maybe once each, but I don't find myself using it too much anymore. Even though I do think that they are great quality, especially for the price tag, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because they're just sitting in here and I haven't used them in quite some time. I do have... How much blushes from the bomb? I do have... One second. Two blushes from the bomb. Uh, this is the Instain blush and this is the Frat Boy blush. Let me see. I just want to see which one I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to... I want to keep one of them. I don't need to keep both. But I think I'm going to go ahead and keep... Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. This is such a nice blush. I think I'm going to keep Frat Boy and get rid of the Instain one. Just because I feel like this would go well with anything, honestly. And this one is a bit brighter, even though I do like those kind of colors, but not every time. Okay, moving on. The next blush that I have here is from ABH. And this is the Blush Trio in Pink Passion. I really, really love this um, for any time of the year because you have this deeper shade here and then this bright pink color. And then this one that actually looks like the Frat Boy by um, The Bomb. But these apply so beautifully and they last the longest time on. So I want to keep this because I do enjoy it a lot. Um, the next little palette that I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Urban Decay Flushed Palette. So in here we are getting a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. This highlighter is so freaking nice. You guys know this is the reason I live. Love that. But um, I don't find myself using this too much. I do have a few of these kind of blushes that I already kept. This is not a bronzer that's like out of this world. Even though it is nice on the skin, it's not one that I don't have kind of like a dupe of. And then this highlighter, as much as it's pretty, I do have other shades that I uh, wear more than that one. So as much as this is hard for me to get rid of, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Close my eyes and go. Okay, next blush that I have here is from the brand Caladio Cosmetics. I got this in my Ipsy. And I was really impressed with how it swatched. I actually didn't even have a chance to use it on my face yet, but it swatches so nicely. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. I'm just thinking if I really need this because I have the frat boy and it kind of gives me these similar, like similar vibes, you know? So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's okay. It's okay. Next blush that I have here is from L'Oreal. This is the Paradise Enchanted Blush that I recently purchased. I did a haul and this was included in there. So nice, so freaking beautiful, swatches beautifully, looks great on the skin, and it's just everything we pretty much want in like a pink blush. So I'm going to keep that because I adore it. I do have these two blushes from Laura Geller. So this one right here is in the shade Tropic Hues, and this is how this one looks. It's actually super stunning. It's a baked formula, and that's how it looks over there once it's swatched. Um... Oh, I do like this. One second. One second. I do have this one as well, which is in the shade Brighton Sun Swept. And that's how this one looks when it's swatched. I did use it as a bronzer at some point, and I could use it as a blush. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because as much as I like it, I just don't feel like it looks perfect on my skin because my skin is pretty light in tone. So I'm going to go ahead and declare that one. But I'm going to keep this one because I think it's great for like the summertime and then the springtime as well. It just has a great finish. Next blush that I have here is from Pretty Vulgar. Um, this came in my Boxy Charm, and I do really like this, but I don't find myself using it too, too much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. You guys can see Beyond Crazy Ass Pigmented. It does have a matte finish to it. So it is pretty, but it's okay. It's gonna, I'm going to say goodbye. 
Next blush that I have here is one of the um, Gelato Vivid Swirl Blushes. This one is, is in rose water. <laughs> Whoa. Um, that's how that one looks. It is actually super pretty. And I do like these little blushes from Laura Geller. They are so cute. It does swatch nicely and it does apply nicely on as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Because I do like it, but like it's fine. You know, like I'm fine without it. So I'm going to say goodbye to that. I have another one of these Maybelline blushes in the shade 25 I think that's what it, what it is, just 25. Um, I had one that I decluttered before, but I'm going to declutter this one as well. The other one I did like more than this one, but this one is still really nice. I just don't find that it's crazy pigmented, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how um, heavy you go with your blush or how light you go with your blush. But I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I, I used it a little bit when I got it, like when I purchased it, but I don't find myself using it too much now. I have the California blush, which I absolutely adore. This is the epitome of spring and summer, mainly summer in a blush for me. That's how that one looks. So I'm going to keep that guy. I love this. You guys know if you've been watching my videos. Next blush that I have here is this one. This is from the Estee Edit line. This is the blush in the shade Koi Coral. It is a really pretty <laughs> corally shade and it's so nice in there. You guys can see, right? Um, I find it to be a bit more pinkier maybe. Um, it is pigmented and it is a matte finish. I do think that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. You can't get it anymore. And with this one also, I just don't find myself using it so much. It is nice though, but whatever. Okay, next blush that I have here is from Ofra Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Blush Bellini. And this, first of all, the quality of this is so freaking soft butt ass. You know, like butts. That's how the shade looks right there. Um, it's funny because in the pan it looks so much lighter, but when you swatch it, it's a bit deeper. I do really like how this feels, and it does look really, like, cutesy on, but it's not one that I reach for, you know? And I want to be really realistic with myself, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Next blush palette that I have here is this one. This is the Pure Bronze and Brighton Blush Palette. I really do like this. I think it's a great little trio here. We get a blush, highlighter, and bronzer, and I do find myself using all of these pretty consistently, I will say. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Let me just give you guys swatches in case you were curious. And then the quality of this palette is unreal. Like, look at that. I got this in my boxy charm, and I'm, like, obsessed. So keeping that guy. All right, we're almost, almost done here. Next two blushes that I have here are these. These are from the H&M collection. I purchased these, I think, three years back, and I think I used them a nice amount of times, but I'm just not into them anymore. I think that there'll be a time where I'll probably purchase a nice amount of makeup from H&M and maybe do, like, a full face of H&M makeup. I feel like it was more popular, like, three years back when it just released. I don't hear literally a soul talking about their makeup, but... Um, I do like the packaging. I just don't find myself using these anymore. I use this one more than this one. This one, for reference, is in the shade Sunrise Pink. And then this one right here is in Cameo Pink. But um, I think I'm going to say goodbye. I think I have a friend who might really, really enjoy these. I think it would look great on her, so I'm going to pass it on to her. Next blush that I have here is from Burt's Bees. This is one that I'm keeping. I love this so much. The formula of this is just so unique and nice, even though it doesn't feel like amazing in the pan. The way it goes on the skin is just like breathtaking, you know? I do want to get into other shades that they provide, um, you know, in this line. Um, so far, this is the only one that I have and I'm going to keep it because I really, really love and I do find myself using it a lot. Next blush that I have here is from LA Girl and this is in the shade um, Just Playful. This is definitely more of like a wintry blush for me. It is a matte finish, as you guys can see. These are really nice, very soft, pigmented, last a long time. You guys can see that was with one swatch. Um, I do really like this. I think going into the winter months, I'm going to play around with this a bit more. So I'm going to keep it because I love it. The packaging is bomb. It is pretty um, travel friendly and it lasts the whole day. So I'm going to keep that. Next blush, I guess, palette that we have here is the Love Flush Palette by Too Faced. Um, as you guys can see, proud of myself. I need a round of applause for that. I did hit pen on that shade. That was one of my favorites for a while. Um, I do have it in the full size, but I still wanted to get through with this one. I do love this palette. I think it's really cute. I don't find myself using it so often anymore because... I don't know, I just don't. Maybe I will though because I'm decluttering so much now, but this is one that I don't want to get rid of because of how cutesy it is. I'm into that, you guys know. Yes, so for those reasons, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. The mirror is broken here, but it's just so cute and they don't sell this anymore, so I need to keep this in my life. Okay, next blush that I have here is this Stila blush. This is in Petunia, and this is one of their convertible blushes, which I've included in my favorites video this past month. Yum, 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 yum. If you're looking for a great summertime 
cream blush this is bombs away adore this i don't want to get rid of it it's so freaking good if these ever go on sale i will go ahead and, and pick up more because they're so nice okay next blush that i have here is this one this is the mac um hipness blush from the i don't even remember what collection it's from but i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this i do like it but i don't really care for it so much anymore i feel like i was more into mac a few years back and now i'm kind of like okay whatever if i'm really really dying to have it there's always the option of ebay which i don't know if i would ever you know buy anything from there for a crazy price but like if i really want to i can go there okay, the packaging is super cute but it's time to say goodbye okay Next two blushes that I have here are these two Tarte blushes. This came in a holiday collection a few years back. It came with four, I believe, but I got rid of two, like, periodically. At some point, I remember I gave it to my friend. But I did go ahead and keep, keep both of these because they are nude shades, and I felt like they can go with any look. But I have so many of these kind of shades, you know, like, let's get real. Um, especially this one, like you guys can see, I have a lot of pinky, corally type of blushes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to these. They are really, really nice quality, which really impressed me. That's why I kept it till now, but... They're just in this little section for ages, and I just I haven't used them, so I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, next blush that I have here is this MAC blush in the shade Gentle. This is one I'm going to keep because my sister purchased this for me about five years back. I remember she told me, like, I was getting into makeup then, I guess. I mean, even before that, but she um, realized it at some point, and she's like, hey, I want to buy you a blush. Pick any blush from MAC. So we actually both picked this out together, and it really holds a special place in my heart. She's so cute, so... I do love this and even though I don't find myself using it so freaking often, I still do use it at times and you know, she gave it to me. So I do want to keep it because I remember I remember that day we went out to buy, you know, it means so much to me. So I want to keep that and I love her so keeping. All right, next two blushes that I have here are from NARS. These are just these baby NARS blushes. I have this one in the shade Goli. I don't know. Don't kick my ass. I don't know how to pronounce that. Then we have Orgasm. So these two blushes are really nice from NARS. And I do like how small and compact they are. I do find myself traveling with these often. This is great for like the winter time. This is a great one for like the summertime. And Orgasm is just like a cult classic of NARS. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these. I do like the packaging and I do use them often. So keeping. Next blush that I have here is from Physicians Formula. This is one that I'm gonna get rid of. I had this for quite some time and I don't even believe that I used this. Maybe I just swatched it. It's super pretty. There's hard all over but i don't know why i just never used it it's like this really interesting light pinky type of shade which i'm sure could work for my skin but i haven't used it till now and i don't think that i will so i will say goodbye okay next blush that i have here is this one this is the physician's formula blush in the shade um natural glow i do like the physician's formula butter bronzer which is actually right here i love that and I do know that they provide different shades um, from the butter blushes, but this one right here is just not my style at all. I feel like it's more of like a highlighter maybe, or it's not really like a highlighter. It's like in between a highlighter and a blush, and I just don't find myself using it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that, maybe check out the other shades that they have in the line. But this one, unfortunately, unfortunately, just does not work with my skin. I just don't like how it looks. Next blush that I have here is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Vivid Baked Blush in Bang Bang You're Dead. I don't understand what kind of name that is. But anyways, it's just a deepened, um, luminous, like purpley type of blush. I was never a huge fan of this, but I just kept it just in case. But I think it's time to get rid of it at the moment because it's just sitting here doing nothing. So saying goodbye to that. Next blush that I have here is this Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade 10 adorable I, I use this a lot when i purchased it probably like a, a year ago now but um i have a few other essence blushes and i feel like i'm gonna keep those and most probably get rid of this one but this one is still really nice if you're looking for a great affordable blush they have a lot of shades to choose from and they do really sit well on the skin um next two essence blushes i have are these these are these satin blushes i don't know if i'm gonna keep both of them i don't think i need to keep both of them but let me just swatch them first of all this is in the shade um 10 satin coral it's a beautiful satin corally shade and then this one right here is called satin love and this one is a bit deeper so let me just swatch them to see <laughs> i really just took the same finger and just watched the same thing okay whoa uh, i think i'm gonna keep the deeper one just because i feel like i have so many of these kind of shades which is weird for me because normally i would keep that one but um yeah let's no wait i'm gonna keep this one <laughs> i'm gonna keep the lighter one you see i'm so indecisive with these they're just like two three bucks each but they're so nice um yeah i'm gonna keep the light one and get rid of this one next blush that i have here is this l'oreal one it's the la blush that i got from 
um, Cancun when I was there visiting. And this is how the blush looks. I think it's so pretty. It has like a luminous finish. I don't typically use this, but I still think it's really nice. Maybe I'll use it for the summer and maybe get rid of it after. But for now, I'm going to keep it because it's from Cancun and I want to keep it because it's from there. Next blush that I have here is from Essence. This is the My Must Haves blush in the shade uh, 02 Strawberry Smoothie. And a bunch of you guys told me that they have palettes you can put these in, which I might get. But now that I'm actually like swatching this, I think I have a lot of those kind of shades. I think I'm just going to get rid of this also because it's just so small and I don't know when I want to pick up the palette. So I'm going to get rid of that. Next blush that I have here is from Maybelline. This is one that I purchased when I was traveling. I don't even remember where, but it's cool because it opens up like that. And I didn't even use it till now. I think I got it like five, six months ago. But that's how the blush looks. It's like a super hot pink color. And I didn't swatch it when I purchased it. But now that I look at it, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm ever going to really wear that, you know? So as much as um, it hurts me because it was pretty pricey from where I got it, like even $10, $12, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Next little palette that I have here is this Rimmel London Kate like blush blush bronzer and highlight palette i purchased this and never used it though the highlighter kind of sucks the bronzer is okay and then the blush is like nice nothing too special but yeah i think i'm gonna say goodbye to that next blush palette that i have here is from maybelline and this is the blush master blush palette this is actually really nice i don't find that it's amazing beyond oh my goodness type of quality but it's not like beyond shitty let me see <laughs> from the swatches it's like uh yeah that looks kind of shitty but they do look really nice on i think i'm still gonna go ahead and get rid of this because i just don't find myself using it too much and there are other like drugstore blushes that i do enjoy more than this one so bye and then finally the last four blushes that i have left are these love flush blushes from too faced i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of not rid i'm sorry i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep all of them just because i did um want to collect all of them at some point i don't even know if they're available anymore but besides for that i still really do enjoy these this is one in specific is called love is your king it's a really nice purpley type of color i have this one which is i will always love you which is the one i hit pan on from the palette it's such a pretty like peachy color i love these guys plus they're still like aesthetically pleasing you know this one is justify my love and it's a really nice hot pinky color that's how it looks right over there and then right here we have this one which is called baby love and this is just a really nice nude. Some of these I purchased for full price, but then some of these I actually purchased during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty events. So um, I got a good deal on some of them. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and keep keep all of them because I do love them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and count all my blushes in total like blush palettes and singular blushes. I'll let you know how much I'm going to be keeping and I'm gonna let you know how much I'm gonna be either selling or donating or decluttering, which is one pile. Okay, so here's where we're at. These are all the blushes that I'm going to go ahead and keep. Even though it does look like a lot, there are more palettes than and singular blushes and i still think i got rid of a nice amount so these are the ones i'm going to keep i'll count it with you guys in a second and then here is my pile of blushes i'm going to go ahead and get rid of either declutter sell to some of you guys on instagram or uh donate okay so keeping we have one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's see how much I'm going to get, go ahead and get rid of. Okay, getting rid of one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 31, 32, 33. So, so far more than I'm keeping. 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Woo! That is a total of 81 blushes. I'm probably gonna take one or two or three or four blushes from my kept pile to put in my kit. But I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my blush declutter video. I can't believe that I actually like did this. This was like, it was hard for me, you know? Well, let me put it in my drawer now and see how like it sits, how everything fits, and if it fits better than before. Like, I hope it will. I know it will. You guys are gonna be so proud of me, but here's how the blush drawer looks now. Oh my God, so much more breathing. I put like these smaller blushes in here. I still want to organize it and like not have these like chilling around like that or like those in the back But for now, it's so much better than before like I can see what I have, you know There are still some blushes in here that I still want to test out and see if I want to keep it or not For example, like these coastal suns blushes and maybe one or two other ones in here But to the most part, I'm pretty pretty happy with the um, size now and I'm just loving it I think it's great. Let me know what you guys think